consider life insurance. You know, over half of people in the United States only have life insurance through their employer. And Mm -hmm. if you're not aware that those group coverages, most times, occasionally there are situations where you can take them with you. But for the most part, overwhelming majority of the group policies, when you sever employment from your job, you no longer have life insurance coverage. Yes, we recently did an entire episode on life insurance in Talking Sense. And so you can go find that. But I will tell you, it was almost hurt it hurt my heart yeah to read the yeah. statistics because like half of the united states doesn't have coverage at all and of those that do have it over half of those only have it through their employer most employers have like a ten thousand dollar policy or a fifty thousand dollar policy that is not enough to replace your income or to help your family meet their goals at you know for retirement or cover the gap that happens you know there's so many factors that it does not take care of and it just breaks my heart that a lot of people aren't aware of this yeah and we'll talk about the coverage we have here at gen wealth we have uh, coverage for the employees and for their spouse and and it's enough you know to cover final expenses but like you said it is not enough to replace income and i i always use this story as an example um when you talk about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and if you you might be paying for a policy at work that maybe has that much coverage when you talk about something like that when you say a quarter of a million dollars it sounds like a whole lot of money (laughs) yes but if you talk about let's say you make fifty thousand dollars a year and you've got a 10 year old Mm -hmm. and you pass away well that 10 year old is 15 when your money is gone at $50,000 a year, that $250,000, if we just do straight line using the money, and I know there's a lot of variables, but just for an easy example, it's gone in five years. Mm -hmm. Was the kid going to go to college? Were you going to help with those expenses? Mm -hmm. Do they still need maybe to eat and have new clothes and maintain their standard of living? I think a lot of people look at a sum of money and they don't think about, okay, if I'm gone, then my spouse has this sum of money what do they do with it and are they able to replace my my check and that's really what we're solving for we look at life insurance while we're all licensed and can sell life insurance we don't look at it from the vantage point of a life insurance salesman we look at it from the vantage point of a financial advisor Mm -hmm. and a financial advisor when you walk in with a check from the insurance company we have to take that check and turn it into income for you Mm -hmm. so we want to be sure that you have enough coverage in place and frankly what I would encourage you to do we're talking about job change whether it's from one job to another or to the point of retirement you have to ask yourself is my family going to be able to maintain my standard or their standard of living if my check stops coming Want more content like this delivered to your inbox weekly? Visit fastest4.com to learn more.